In this video, we're going to talk about the GNU Headspace, the camber dominant Forrest Bailey inspired asymmetrical twin. This is a board for the guy that isn't laid back or a space case. This is someone that wants a little more domination from their board, more snap, a little more aggressive play to it. This is a board that you can charge with. It could be a quiver of one type of board. This board features Mervyn's C3 camber profile, which is their take on camber 2.0. So there's an ever so slight mellow reverse camber into the camber zones underfoot and then it goes down into flat. Basically, it's a flat camber that comes down into flat. You have to load it up. It's going to have a lot of pop. It's going to have a lot of response to it. You're going to feel like you're riding traditional camber with C3. Oh God, is that in my head? Is intergalactic space Jesus fucking with me again? Oh God, oh God. The stiffest section of this board is right between the feet and underfoot. You're gonna notice that right away. There is torsional flex. It's there, it's not overly abundant. It's just kind of enough to engage with, but then you've got these softer tips. Overall, this board is a solid middle of the road park flex. Okay, so how is this thing with chatter? Well, I only noticed a little bit out in the tips. Never anything underfoot. It wasn't a board that really, this board did do really well getting into variable terrain, pushing through chunder and really driving itself. It never wanted to wash out. It was smooth, it was stable where it needed to be. It's damp, but it's still lively. This board has snap in it. You load up that C3 profile and you're gonna boost with it. It's Camber 2.0 reimagined from Mervyn Manufacturing. This board, it's easy to engage with the way the Camber profile is, and those softer flexing tips let you leverage over and just pop right out of it. This is a board that boosts, and it's perfectly at home on jumps. I mean, small, medium, large, it's got you covered. This is a board that can pop aggressively off an edge. It's a board that can send a lip. It's just at home in the air. So the blunt shape of this board, the C3 profile, and the flex pattern really blend together to allow this board to butter and jib. You've got this nice, just sweet spot out in the tips that you can lock into, and you're still gonna have snap when you need it. This is a board that, this is a board that I would recommend having just a little bit of speed when you're buttering, but it's going to lock in. You're going to be able to just do any variation you want. And the same is true when it comes to jibbing. It locks into presses, but speed is your friend. It hugs a rail when you go sideways. You don't have to worry about that at all. It's just a well-balanced park board that you can do anything with. So this board does have an asymmetrical side cut, which means it's got a deeper heel side side cut than the toe side. This helps you lay it over on edge when you're on your heels. You can get deep with it. This is a board that carves amazingly. It engages the carve, it locks in, and it plows through anything in its path. You can push through the camber zone off the tail and snap out of the turns. It's very, very responsive. I'd recommend this board for anyone that's a high-end freestyle rider that wants a lot of snap and response. This is a board that you can drive it how you want, lay it on edge, and go out and ride the whole mountain if you need to. Yes, it is a freestyle board, but it's one of those freestyle boards that lends itself to being all mountain if you need to. That very vague category where every company lumps their boards. This is a quiver of one type of deck in my opinion. I honestly thought about picking one of these up this year, but there were other boards that I wanted more. Let's see what other companies are up to par with the headspace. Here's a list of comparable decks. The Niche Theme, the Lago Double Barrel, the K2 Happy Hour, the Dinosaurs Will Die Meat, or Mate. I don't know how you pronounce this. It's team spelled backwards. The Endeavor Live. All right, so now you've decided what snowboard you're gonna get and you're going to decide where you're gonna buy it. If you're shopping local, awesome. Slap your local shop guys a high five and tell them they're killing it. But for those of you that are buying online, why don't you shop from one of the links we have down below? That way you support us and you get a deal on your snowboard. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. That way you can see all the relevant or 
irrelevant snowboarding content that we're putting out for you guys. So smash that bell down below, that way you're getting a notification, and I'll see you guys in another video.